Hi there. Do you want to see how I created a 3D version of this logo? So stick around if you want to see more. So a few days ago I got a request from a friend that is starting his company and, and he was having a logo for his company and, and he had this logo made for him also with a text in Icelandic but he wanted his logo 3D printed. I, I took his design files and, and created a 3D logo in, in Fusion 360. So I want to show you the process. So to start with this is the logo, here's the icon of the key and there's the text, it's in Icelandic so don't mind that. But this was a like a ESP file he sent me and it's a vector graphic file and I'm gonna ungroup this and, and get out the logo and now I can select the text and delete that one and what I want to do is to import this into Fusion 360 and to do so I have to save this as a SVG so I'm gonna go and save as and uh, select SVG and select the logo here it has uh, some options and I'm just using the default options SVT profile version 1.1 type SVT subsetting none use system fonts there are no fonts in this logo so it doesn't matter but I'll save this out so in Fusion 360 uh, just starting a clean project so what I want to do is to import the SVT so I go to insert SVT I'm gonna select the plane as a top plane and select the file and here I have the logo file so this will open up and here's the logo and this is just fine I, I don't have to move it I, I can you can move it if you want to to the center so now I have the logo and I want to extrude it with the same width as the, the circle here so I'm gonna hit D for dimension and make a dimension here um, this is 2.575 and um, now I want to stop the sketch and select the, the sections that I want to extrude and hit E for extrude and select 2.75 so now I have a, the extruded part of the logo in a similar size as a width of the the extrusion is a similar height as the width of the logo. So now I have this object. Um, this actually turns out to be four bodies. Um, and what you can do is to just make a STL file out of this. And I'm going to print this on my CR10. And I'll import this in and out here. Um, here on the bread, it's pretty small and he wanted to have a bigger, big, bigger logo, so I scale this up, maybe 200% or a little bit more. And that's a little bit too big. So now it fits the bed on the, on the CR10 and you can then print this out and what I got when I done printing is, is this logo here and I earlier did a small smaller version it was like a tiny <laughs> tiny version um, and now what he wants to do is to put this on his wall or his door um, because these are separate objects and he wants to have like the background coming through and he doesn't want to have a background in the parts I have to create a way for him to space out the parts in, a, in the correct uh, spacing compared to the original logo so to do that I went back into Fusion and, and create some, created some spacers um, that's what I'm gonna do now so now when I'm back in Fusion I want to edit the sketch I'm just going to hide the bodies for now and edit sketch and what I want to do is to create spacers that go in between the gaps so each part will have a spacer where they align up so to create those spacers I hit L for line and create lines and 
between the parts. Um, it's just a rough placement of lines. It doesn't really matter uh, how exact they are. So for each part, I'm creating a small spacer. So now I created five areas that I want to extrude out. So now I can select those parts, um, hit E for extrude, and I'm selecting new body, um, having like two millimeters uh, height. So now I have the spacers here in between parts. Um, what I found out when I printed those spacers out, they are too close to each part because of printer tolerances, so what I need to do is I create a, a little bit smaller version of the spacers. To, and to create those, I created a new sketch and put them on the same plane. And I use the P function or project function, uh, select those parts and project the outlines into a new sketch. Uh, now I have the outlines here. Um, I can turn off the bodies and select this uh, part hit O for offset and move it in inwards a little bit. Um, I found out uh, 0 0.15 millimeter is uh, good enough spacing, so you can see there's a little bit of spacing. So I'll do this for all the parts. Uh, it's just a little bit smaller parts, so the tolerances of 3D printing will not interfere with the shape of the logo. Uh, now I have those shapes and what I want to do also is to have something to grip onto so I will create uh, like pegs and have them five millimeters for each part so there's are just five millimeter circles I'm creating in each part and now I want to extrude and as you can see I'm extruding the inner part uh, I want to extrude this by one millimeter um, as a new body, or maybe two millimeters is, is a good place. So now I can see those parts are not touching the uh, original parts. There is a small gap. Um, this is just for the tolerances of, of the 3D printing. So you can see those. And now I want to extrude the pegs and I want to extrude them as a join and I want to extrude them maybe 15. So, and now I can print out the, the logo and the pegs and as I showed you the pegs uh, look like this. And sitting to the close-up camera I have, have the pegs and I even put numbers on them <laughs> just for reference. Um, for the client that is going to receive this, I uh, made these instructions so he will know where to place each pack. And now with the logo, I can take pack number one, put that in place, uh, find number two, and that goes here, and number three goes here, and number four goes here. And this is starting to take shape. And number five is here. And now I can align everything up. And what he's going to do is to glue this on a wall or a door. Um, he will have to put in the glue. And, and when that is set, he can just remove the pegs and, and have his logo in a correct uh, placement. And of course, now because this is not glued, <laughs> it will move. But you get the idea if the if the blue parts were glued on the on the wall uh, this will uh, be stuck and, and he can just remove those parts and have his logo on the wall in the current uh, size and, and, and placement so that was a instruction video on how i extruded his 2d logo into a 3d part and as 
because uh, it's a multi-part piece and I wanted to make sure he was having some way of aligning the parts in the correct placement. I created those spacers and uh, printed that out, out for him and also did the instruction paper for him to see <laughs> where to place everything. But this will be it for this video. My name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. If you like my channel, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it. And leave a comment. Uh, uh, please let me know <laughs> if you don't like it, why you don't like it. But for now, uh, this will be it for this video. I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.